Here at Murdoch University, we have an extensive range of material in our special collections, open to researchers, students, and educators. The Jeffrey Bolton Library holds tens of thousands of rare and culturally significant items, including books, films, photographs, diaries, correspondence, and other ephemera. The collection has been built in close connection with the Western Australian community and provides a uniquely WA perspective on global and historical matters. The collection's value lies in its historical significance and continued relevance to contemporary social issues. The materials can be used to facilitate inquiry-based learning and help students develop independent research and critical thinking skills. Whether you're a student or an academic, you can find something that's relevant to you. The science fiction collection was started to support the research of Murdoch University's first PhD student, Maureen Smith. It has grown thanks to a long-standing relationship with Perth's science fiction community. This nationally recognized collection includes comics, graphic novels, fanzines, broadcast recordings, and convention memorabilia that together form a rich archive of 20th century counterculture. In particular, the Lee Edmonds collection of fanzines are full of personal news, anecdotes, and stories from both Australian and international authors and provide a window into 70s and 80s sci-fi culture and fandom in WA. The illustrations and printing techniques showcased by these materials also provide a fascinating insight into indie publishing processes. Murdoch University holds three quarters of the total fanzines in Australian libraries, giving this collection a unique perspective on Perth's social landscape. The Lee Edmonds Collection forms a significant resource for those researching and teaching creative writing and its place in the cultural identity. Irene Greenwood was a writer, political and peace activist, and Australian broadcasting pioneer. She was known for her work with the United Nations, the Women's Electoral Lobby, and the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. Here at Murdoch, we are privileged to have Irene Greenwood's collection all together, where students can benefit from her wealth of knowledge and experiences. Her archive includes correspondence, diaries, radio transcripts, her personal library, and photographs. Together, the collection provides unique insight into the mind and daily life of an advocate for feminism and social activism, as well as a comprehensive overview of the women's movement in Australia over the 20th century. The Pankhurst Collection, named for prominent suffragette Christabel Pankhurst, explores issues of gender equality on a global scale. It includes hundreds of issues of suffrage campaign newspapers, as well as other suffragette ephemera. As a whole, the collection illustrates the individual experiences of those involved in the campaign. It also provides a singular look into the various ideologies, opinions, and policies that have shaped present-day feminism. George Peat was a journalist in Australia and Southeast Asia for over 50 years, an editor of the Straits Times Annual in Singapore after World War II. The Peat collection includes manuscripts, news cuttings, personal documents, and his collection of rare books. Peat's writing vividly depicts his struggle to balance his own journalistic ethics with societal pressures. It explores themes of colonialism and independence while capturing the character of Singapore's culture and traditions. The Harry Whittington Collection is an excellent example of community science and conservation. It depicts the journey of the Whittington Interceptor Salt Affected Land Treatment Society, or Y-Salts. Started as a grassroots initiative, Y-Salts grew to become the driving force behind research into salt affected farmland in Western Australia. The collection reflects environmental and social activism within farming communities. It features farm plans, photographs, and technical drawings with a focus on Harry Whittington's passion for creating positive change in rural WA. The Weisaltz collection may be of particular interest to scientists, engineers, and conservationists. The special collections are a bridge from Murdoch University's past to our present, and they reflect our roots as a free-thinking place of learning. Our collection is an invaluable educational resource for academics and students across all fields of study. Browsing the collection is a great way to inspire your research or teaching, so come and explore the special collections. You may discover something you never expected to find. <laughs>